Hi, I'm Sarah Haversick, safety advocate for Evenflow. Congratulations on your new shift dual ride infant car seat and stroller combo. You're going to love shifting from back seat to the street. From hospital to home, Shift Dual Ride is there for all of your baby's first adventures. Today, I'm going to show you how to install the Shift Dual Ride Infant Car Seat and Stroller Combo with the anti-rebound base using the vehicle seatbelt. Let's start. Before we begin, please review the instruction manual and all labels on the infant car seat prior to use. When your car seat comes out of the box, you may want to attach the wheel wells to the anti-rebound base. These are not required, but are designed to keep your back seat clean. Line up the tabs on the side of the wheel well with the slots on the side of the anti-rebound base. Push the wheel well straight down until you hear a click. Repeat for the other side. Make sure the lower anchor connectors are stored on the anti-rebound base. Place the anti-rebound base on your vehicle seat facing the rear of the vehicle. Adjust the recline foot until the bubble is visible in the blue zone of the recline indicator. Squeeze the handle and open the lock strong belt tensioner. Route the vehicle seat belt through the openings on either side of the anti-rebound base and buckle. To tighten the installation, place one hand in the center of the anti-rebound base and push down firmly while pulling the shoulder belt and moving excess slack into the vehicle retractor. Close the LockStrong belt tensioner. The indicator will turn green when the LockStrong is closed. A correct installation requires a locked vehicle seatbelt. Check your vehicle owner's manual to determine how to lock your seatbelt for infant car seat installation. In many cases, you will pull out all of the shoulder belt webbing to switch to a locked mode. To check for tightness, grab the infant car seat at the belt path, which is where you have it installed. It should not move more than one inch from side to side or front to back. It is important to check for movement right where you have the car seat installed. For rear facing, that will be near your child's feet and not at their head. Check the recline indicator on the anti-rebound base again to make sure the bubble of the recline indicator is still in the blue zone. Finally, you can attach the infant carrier to the base. Guide the infant carrier to the anti-rebound base so that the wheels sit in the wheel wells. Confirm the infant carrier is clicked into the anti-rebound base by lifting up on the infant carrier handle. You're all set. If you need further assistance, please call ParentLink Customer Service for real-time chat support and free live video installation service. Look for ParentLink at evenflow.com.